of the third largest lotto prize ever. Up for grabs tonight. Pretty crazy. KCAU 9 News reporter Hannah Adamson explaining what your odds are of winning each time you buy a ticket. Hannah? Tim and Sophie, tonight's estimated Mega Millions jackpot now $1 billion. In fact, only two other jackpots have ever crossed that historic threshold. With just moments to go before the winning numbers are announced, many Siouxlanders are hoping they'll win big tonight. At Sam's Mini Mart in South Sioux City, cashiers Antonio and Shannon say foot traffic was a little higher than usual today. I would have to say at least over probably 50, 60. All stopping by for a chance to win the billion dollar Mega Millions jackpot, the third largest in history. I would make sure my kids are taken care of. I would actually donate to charity. If a lucky winner takes all tonight, they could opt for a $740 million cash option. While it does look tempting, the actual jackpot is much less when you factor in federal and state taxes. According to USAMega.com, a winner who takes the cash option would receive a net total of 403 million in Iowa, 415 million in Nebraska, and 466 million in South Dakota. If the winner were to take the annuity option, that amounts to a net total of 546 million in Iowa, 563 million in Nebraska, and 631 million in South Dakota over the course of 30 payments. Now, the chances of winning the jackpot on any given lotto ticket, one in 302 million. But there is some good news. The chances of winning a prize off a lotto ticket are 1 in 24. If some of the winning numbers match the ones on your ticket, you still can make a little cash on your investment. Maybe 100 bucks, maybe 200 around there. But Valdez says a payout in the hundreds of dollars is still pretty lucky. Maximum is probably like 5 or $6. That's what they would win. Some other fun facts about tonight's jackpot. If you weighed the prize money in $1 bills, that would amount to 815 tons. That's more than two jumbo jets. If you stacked the prize money in $1 bills, that trail would extend 50.2 miles into the atmosphere. And get this, NASA considers that the edge of space. 